please, please mute yourself as you're logging in so that way I don't have to mess with it. But once again, welcome, welcome. I want to get your thoughts together and write on your notepad of like, where are you at as far as your volume point goes? Uh, goes. Also money, how much money have you made? And obviously, you know, if it's not on top of your head, it's fine, but start thinking about that. And one of the things I'm going to recommend you is for you to start tracking every cell that comes in, every volume that comes in, every prospect that comes in, and doing so every single day. And I'm gonna, not going to call any names, but I've gone as like, hey, where you at? Like, we have goals. Like, you say, okay, I want to do all these, like, this amount of volume. And then I check with you and I ask, so where's your volume at today? Oh shoot, I haven't checked all this week. What? No way, that's crazy. And just so you know, if that's you, it is okay, shake it off. But today I want you to be obsessed with, all right, how much volume points? So on your notepad, write how many volume points you started with the day and what is your goal as far as how much you want it to increase? And I'll share with you, my goal has been 500 volume points each day, seven days a week. So it's been averaging that because I set my mind and my intention and every action, it's like, we're all right, a new order came in, a new reorder, a new PM, because that is my purpose and my goal. So I've been averaging every single day, three to 500 volume points each day, because I said, that's it. In the morning, where's my volume points at? And I got to make sure that I'm moving towards reaching my volume point goal. And that is with my orders that come in there, right? PMs, reorders, Order. new distributors. That's volume that's flowing in. And you guys all know all of this, so I don't have to spe uh, speak baby talk with you because you've been at least, you know, about 30 days or so or more in the business. So I, I know you know what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to throw out there to be obsessed you got however many days to the month, 12, I don't know, 12 days, like so much can happen. And I love like the last 10 days of the month because we fully stretch and whatever you've done so far, like it duplicates the last literally 10 days of the month. It's pretty amazing. So I'm excited. Um, I know you guys are all like, I know all of you here. I know you've been building momentum, bringing in clients, like reaching your goals. So big shout out to you. So with that, I want, um, remember, as I said last week, we're going to do a hot seat, meaning we're going to spotlight a couple of you that have, have been really engaged on becoming a boss chat, that I've been putting out their work, right? So I really want to highlight a couple of you, but more than anything, to put you on a hot seat to see what are you doing, how is it working for you and how do you feel? So for you, so we can give you our feedback and all of us can learn from you. So the first hot seat for the day is you. Sheena, I know you see you, girl. <laughs> oh my God, I know. You are gonna call me. I look a mess, but listen, you it's look Monday. great, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, I know, like, I'm so proud of you. First of all, girls, if you were here part of I, uh, last week's training, we talked about putting together your lifestyle prompt and then creating your IG bio that would be a sellable bio, and then your three piece, your the three piece, and and I that's and your um video on becoming a chat uh becoming a boss chat so you did all of those sheena so incredibly yeah. proud of you right everyone and then now i want to open up the line for you to share like what did you learn how are you working towards that what's what's on your mind in regards to what you learned last week um so just a lot of really just trying to push myself honestly because it is super nerve-wracking like i'll make my videos and i'll sit there and i'm sure all you guys do this we'll sit there we'll do a couple copies we'll look at it a million times before you even post it and i just got to get out of my comfort zone so it's just like a matter of continuing to push myself and you know just giving myself that confidence because i know it's there and i just gotta 
like let it out, you know? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And I just want to like, just continue to just pour out and then hopefully people will continue to keep responding. I felt like it was like a lot of people at first and then it's kind of slowing down, but I don't want to let that kind of get to me. So I'm just still sending messages out still, you know, reaching out to people and you still, you get people, you know, now like okay yeah like let me what give me more information so it's just a matter of just keep doing it is really <laughs> what, what did it you is. learn from your um homework from your lifestyle your lifestyle prompt what did you learn from that like from yourself to help you discover your niche to help you develop your your ig bio i think it all just kind of goes back to like how you know and then like what you want to give off um you know just because you want to attract the same kind of people that gone through the things that you've gone through so just to kind of go back and to kind of just hit those emotions again um it's just kind of brought out more and wanting to help people more so i definitely learned that you got to just dig deep and you got to like push past those things that are holding you back especially when it comes to social media because it's so it's a vulnerable place you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's it's you know you'll get there um and i'll get there but you just got to keep keep pushing <laughs> who do you serve i serve women i serve all women who want to feel better about themselves i serve mommies who feel like they can't do it who feel like they can't you know who don't have the energy to or even you know, have the want, sometimes we get in those moments where we're like depressed, we don't want to do anything. And so for that woman to know that, you know, you can do it too. Um, that's, that's who I feel like I serve. Good. I like that. And what type of problems are you solving for them? Um, I feel like I'm, I'm giving them options to, um, that, of healthy, you know, nutritional options, you know, of, you know, just mental health and wellness options, things that, you know, just to always go back to doing something that's positive, that makes you feel good. So, um, I feel like that's how I'm serving them just by continuing to push past my anxieties and my things that I go through on a daily basis. It shows them that they can do it too. And we're all in it together. Super. That's kind of I love that. Thank yeah. you, Sheena. Thank you so much. Delfina, we can't hear you. We can hear All you. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So let me start from the beginning. So today, this was yesterday's or last week's. So we're gonna go into week two. This week, we are gonna go over scheduling your marketing content. So this is really, today's conversation is going to be IG because I feel like 100% of us are master, like that's our number one focus. However, you can also apply this to Facebook. Just, you know, just be aware of your audience. And I just wanna touch on that a little bit. Um, what I tend to do is just share to Facebook, but I'll tell you something. Um, I don't know about you, for me, what I've learned is that my, the people on Facebook, my friends are not, I mean, a lot, like probably 50% are the same people as Instagram, right? Cause it's like, oh, we just tend to follow each other both places. But a lot of those people are like older, not necessarily older women, but they're definitely women like older. 40 and over and then on Instagram for the most part are like 40 ish and under so it's being aware of that and it's like how can I speak differently instead of like just sharing right a lot of can be like Facebook can be written content you know like questions and things and stuff like that and then a lot of before and afters there so that is my intention with Facebook so because for me right now, Facebook is not bringing anything, any money for me, any prospects, no money, no sales, no client, only Instagram. But why not? Facebook is huge. So how can we be 
aware of like, wait a minute. So what I'm doing on IG is not working on Facebook. How can I change it up a little bit without taking too much time, just tweaking it? So I just want to bring that awareness from my end and, and maybe it's relatable to you or just to, for you to start thinking about it because we shouldn't ignore Facebook or treat it the same as Instagram. Just, just a thought, write it down. All right. So the reason I want you guys to, to why I created week two this way, creating your content, because as Sheena shared, sometimes you get so caught up in thinking like you have, all right, Sheena, you know, or you, you're nine to five, you have a job, or maybe you don't right now, but let's just say in your normal day, you're, you have a nine to five and you're doing your herbal eye business for two hours every single day. Cause that's all you have. And that's great. That's really all you need. But if you're posting that day and you're like, what am I going to post? What am I going to say? Does this even sound right? Did I even spell it right? You're questioning yourself. You, you're like having a block. You don't even know what picture you're going to use or should I take a selfie. And what am I going to say? Do I just put a quote? You know, you know, all these things come up and there goes your two hours that you're going to work that day. Well, down for the day. And then I, you get your workout and you blast it on story and that, that's it. Like, no. You know what I mean? When it comes, if you're going to be doing two hours a day, though, those two hours should be for you like reaching out to people, like you closing deals, right? Checking your biz works, checking my herbal life, see if any like prospects came in, who do you, can you follow up with kind of stuff. That's where the true action should take place outside of that power hour where Sheena, you talked about it. And I saw on the chat that all of you agree, like, yes, girl, I get it. Like, we feel like we're speaking to the same people you are. And this is why I won't stop telling you, you must join power hour because power hour, like 50% of the intention behind that is for you to bring new, fresh people, new prospects. So, all right, throwing it out there. So let's get into work. So the four types, let's go into the four types of Instagram content that converts, that converts your followers into the funnel, right? into prospects, into customers, into PMs, et cetera, et cetera, all right? Number one is you being the expert. What can you teach others? If Mahai is like, no, pues, wow, like I just started the business, business girl. I don't have anything to teach. I don't, like, I don't know anything. Girl, you've lost, I think I'm right, 27 pounds. You got some, you can teach someone how to lose five pounds for sure. And you're like, well, all those people like the follow and all those people that follow me, like they know, no, they don't know. Or me, you know what I mean? Maybe you can give them like two, three tips on how to lose their first three pounds. You are sure an expert in that area. How to get out of bed and meditate at five in the morning. And that's what you do. Those are already something that you're really good at. And I'll tell you something. I used to, when I started my business, I also had self-doubt and I would be like, oh, okay, so I should give some workout tips. I started with workouts because that's what I felt more comfortable, but I would always doubt myself because I started building a lot of friendships with personal trainers, like really fit people. So I would have that self-conscious and be like, oh my God, how embarrassing because what, like, you know, this, this coach or this trainer or this body bikini lifter, whatever, competitor is probably like, this fool, like, what is she talking about? Why did, why does she think it's, she's an expert? And that used to get in my head until I discovered like, wait a minute, first of all, they're not buying from me. Right. And I don't care. Like, you're not my niche. You're not my target market. You're not the person that I'm trying to reach to. The people that I'm trying to reach are back here. Women like myself, they're knocking on me like, girl, how do you build some abs? Girl, how do you have three kids and look amazing? Because they have no idea. So I threw away the town like, if they don't follow me because they think I'm stupid because my workouts are dumb, good. I don't need you anyway. Like, I'm not trying, like, you are not my target market. And you're not buying from me anyway, so get the heck out, you know? So I started with that confidence, like, Worth the Vaseline, take off my, you know, kind of like Joe status or Alyssa there, like, get out of here, you know? So that gave me the confidence. All right, I'm going to do my, like, literally, I was doing like three 
probably one workout video a day for them. Like this is the da da da. And from there, I built my business for the first three years. It took me to generate $3,000 a month. The first three years, I generated $5,000 a month because that's when I said I'm buying my house. When I was building $5,000 solid in my business, that's where I felt comfortable. I can, I can afford to have a mortgage payment. And literally, like I have so many videos that my sister sent me one the other day and she's like, oh my God. And any, so it's, you know what I mean? So, but it's like thrown in the towel when it comes to like the what ifs, the what, again, I'll say this million times. If, if they're not for you, they could go ahead and fo unfollow you. So, all right. If they have something to say in the comment, just delete it. Peace out. Okay. So you are an expert at, at so many things. Ooh, against you. I love that one. So anyway, number two. How can I? Okay, there he goes. Number two is be a friend, all right, through storytelling. Share your story to create immediate connection and trust. And here, a good example, I, I, I posted Leah's picture with her daughter. She talks about that, you know, her daughter does gymnastics so many days a week, and, you know, she's amazing, and, like, she wanted to work out with mom. You guys, a lot of you are moms, and when your son or Mahai, your daughter, goes on a hike with you, and she's like wants to like look cute in her fitness gear and you know things like that. I saw the other day, Adri was like, "My son wanted to work out with me. He wanted me to coach him." Like you can relate. Like, oh my gosh, yes, my little girl, like she wanted to work out with me. You know what I mean? So when you see that, you're like, "Oh, I get you, girl." You know, she's pulling out the mom card. And sharing a story through that and how that made her feel as a mom. And you are going to be like, yes, Ryan, I get it. Okay. Shareable. Something that can go viral. So it can be a quote that you even grab from somebody else. It can be an infographic, videos, uh, how do you call it? Memes, uh, TikTok video, etc. Okay. So I pulled this one because it's been shared so many times and I know you guys loved it. And then somebody shared it from my page. And then also people were tagged like, oh my gosh, this is an awesome video. You know what I mean? That's how you organically build relationships or new followers. Um, so again, something shareable. Um, I have Adri here. So number four is self. Sometimes we get so caught up on the inspiration, like, Oh, you take a selfie like Adri right there, you know, she's in her backyard um, on her laptop. She could have easily pulled out like a quote, like women uplift like the, you know, whatever. I don't know. And that's great. But sometimes we get caught up in too many quotes and too much inspiration. That's great that you're inspiring, but are you selling anything? You know, so really be specific on having also within your content. A, a call, a pitch, a call to action. Are you pitching with confidence? Are you clearly sharing your opportunity? So Adri right here talks about um, her story in Herbalife and then she pitches the business opportunity. So not only does she, she's really good at storytelling, but also like ending it with a call to action. So extra income, side hustle, make a difference. Either one or uh, make it happen. Do you want to earn it? Now, this is, to her and to all of us, sometimes people will love your picture and comment, nothing to do with what you posted. Oh, how beautiful. Oh my gosh, that belly's so cute. Oh, where'd you get that laptop? Girl, did you not read what I just posted? Did you not read my caption? Most likely not. So what I would advise for all of us to do is you see her call to action at the bottom where it says, um, make you know comment below if you want to make five to one thousand dollars for that to be in the top somehow like the call to action on the top and then followed by her story because if they don't read the rest no problem it's cool but at least you got the first sentence does that make sense yeah adri i wanted to um open up the line for you and uh to see like what are some because you're really good at storytelling and and implementing a call to action that way like what's your flow i would love to hear from you um hi guys my name is adriana i'm the girl in the picture there um 
I feel like just when I start getting in my head, then I lose what my call to action is. I really just have to pull from why I'm even doing this. So I always connect to why am I doing Herbalife? Obviously, it's because for me, I not only gained amazing energy, I lost 15 pounds. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. I'm making extra income. I love being surrounded by a positive um, community. So always connecting to that before I post. Because if it comes from a place of authenticity, then it's easy for me to ask, like, hey, who wants to join me? Who wants to do this with me? Who wants to lose weight? As opposed to getting stuck in my own head and like thinking, oh my gosh, I need to get a client or I need to do this because they told me to do it. But when you're organically sharing, it's easy to just put that call to action because really, you guys know we have an amazing business opportunity. Like we've, we've seen it, we're seeing it, it's growing, it's incredible. You guys know we have amazing product. So if you always pull from that, and I do the same thing when I go flyer, I love to do person um, face-to-face contacts. But when I don't like get in a space of like, dude, we have an amazing product and we have an amazing business opportunity, I block myself from letting myself shine, if that makes sense. And if that answers your question. Yes, 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 that's perfect. And and that really helps, guys. Thank you, Adri. Um, to tie it in back to your niche. You know, when you have your niche so clear and who you're speaking to, it's so, so helpful because it, it gives you clarity of like, who am I speaking to, right? Who is this message going out to? So I want... I want you to write this down because I want this flow to help you when you start creating content. Okay. Number one, education. Number two, storytelling. Number three, shareable. And number two, sales. So you can do that and implement it through this. I'm going to share this. I'm becoming a boss. So this is, um, I, I pulled this up from Instagram. I found it a while back. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So this is going to help you guys kind of like you know, guide you. So like Monday, share a personal story. So this is where you can apply your storytelling. Number or Tuesday, something you can teach, right? This is where you are the expert. It can be a recipe. You know, Mariana, she's now a donut expert, by the way, they're bomb. Girls, if you don't want to make your own, buy them. They're amazing. Um, so I had, I ate three yesterday. Anyway, so, <laughs> so she is a freaking donut expert. So she can just, you know, do a donut recipe right here. Um, Wednesday, share a client's pain and struggle. This would be a great one for a before and after. But now having, like asking her, interviewing her before you post it so you can pick something that she struggled with and she has overcome, you know, through her transformation. What a great way to capture what you have to say with your story with, your client's story right with her before and after thursday time to give an invitation what do we got we got a thursday's hom we got a you know challenges coming up we had uh saturday tea talks there's so many places you can invite your girls your clients your niche your avatar too so that can be a thursday thing friday share a client's testimonial i would so invite you to do a video like have her do a video for you and maybe you send out a, a like bullet points like hey can you say your name and maybe three things before herbalize three things after all right and so let that you in your organic and your own true self like share it but let that be your guidance and have her submit it to you you know and you can share like imagine an IGTV where it is 2 minutes of her sharing her story Ew. Saturday and Sunday, this is where it can be lifestyle. Like, what do you do? You know, you guys go for a hike right now. There's so many of you that post your hike pictures. This is a lot of that can happen. Or you, you know, Sunday, you do your online church or, you know, whatever. Like, this is where Saturday and Sunday can kick, um, can kick in. Um, so now I'm going to go out. Oh, before I go here, I actually um, want to go into, um, sharing can you guys see this 
this it's like a calendar okay so this app it's called it's an app and it's also a on the web um it's called later.com so this is where you can post or schedule your post so it's there's so many out there guys i would um maybe you do your research on your top three there's um hootsuite i've used and i've used in my marketing um job that was the one platform that we used always which is great and then now i have transitioned to later this is what i'm currently using and i want to show you like i would invite you well actually it's part of your homework to like a lot of like amazing marketing uh coaches say do a month of content like a month worth of posts honestly i feel like for me it's a lot i i've done a week at a time so either i i do sunday sometimes tuesdays and Wednesdays are not crazy busy. I'll spend um, half a day of creating like new pictures. And I also pull old pictures because I, you know, over time, guys, when you're doing this, you start generating a lot of great um, wellness content. So you can start pulling. But a Tuesday where you go with the flow of the top four shareable, right? Sellable um, content types, which is going back education, storytelling, shareable, and call to action sales. And then again, applying it to the seven Instagram um, pl planning, you know, Instagram posts. So here you can upload pictures that you want to um, post. And then for example, say um, this video, okay? I talked about it. This is a business video. Say I want to post it tomorrow, the 19th at 9 p.m., 9 a.m. I'm gonna post it here, okay? Then I click here and then I can just type away whatever I want. Um, I can auto, like I can schedule it, right? So tomorrow, Tuesday at 1 a.m. or 9 a.m. And then I wanted to post um, automatically, sent me a notification, auto publishing. And then I it's asking me to edit. I go in here. Okay, whatever. And then I'll do this later. And then I save and it'll go here. I'm gonna leave just for now. And it's gonna be there and it'll automatically post on its own. So it's really amazing and it'll save you time. Um, hold on. So um, there's, you can also post stories. For me, I'd rather not do stories because I, as stories for me are organic. But it's a good way for you to like schedule um, sellable stories, right? Like if right now you're pitching the 15 day challenge or your three day trials, like you can post that there. One of the other things that I truly love, and I'm going to invite you to be on top of your analytics. You can do this through here, but you can also do it through your Instagram directly. Guys, you're going to see who is your audience? Like who is right now watching what you do, right? Watching what you post. And then what's great is also at what time. So for example, Tuesday, the biggest time for me, Tuesday, last Tuesday was at 5 p.m. Five to six was my highest. And you see like how many people actually viewed it, 2,500 people. And so this gives you an idea. Sunday, whatever I posted at 11 a.m., 2,500 people also saw it. So my post performance, so then that way you can see what your people like, okay? This one, the Faha one or the self-love one, that was a high one, right? They had a lot of comments, they had a lot of likes and, and then 2.1 impressions. Um, and so it'll tell you like which ones had the most engaged, engaged posts, more, uh, my story performance, also like which ones are performing more. So it gives you everything that you need to give you a better perspective of like what is your niche or your target market wanting from you. So it gives you an idea of like, all right, so she likes when, for example, and I think all of you, right, when, when we post about our family. My biggest post last, um, last week was a Mother's Day post of me, my sister, and my mom. So how can I, like, and you know, I said something like Happy Mother's Day. I hope yours was great as mine. 
Like, how can I make it something that is in, in those four, right? If it's education, if it's storytelling, if it's shareable, or if it's sellable. So think about that. Or because it was a Sunday, it can just be a lifestyle post, right? Which it was. So again, what is, what you know, maybe like a lot of the hits for you, Sheena, it's you dancing all the time. So, but now how can you make, instead of like, that's inspirational, but what if you get start making it educational? So you're like, here's an IGTV, 10 minutes of fit dancing, follow me, da, 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 right? And here it is, like literally full blown 15 minutes, like girls, I know you may not have time, but in 15 minutes, you can get this workout in. Here you are. Now you are the expert. You're the teacher, the instructor outside of your Zoom um you know uh trainings so does that make sense guys yeah okay awesome so i'm gonna go back to here to my presentation now going into our ig story just so you know for the difference between ig story and ig feed okay ig story is more of creating um, a deeper relationship with your current followers, right? It only makes sense because for the most part, um, only your followers are gonna go and to see what, who you, you know, what you're posting. And the more you post, the more relevant you'll be. You're, you'll be on the top four little circles of your followers. If you post it in the morning and now it's 8.30, 8, 8 p.m., then guess what? You're not going to be in top of mind anymore. You need to post on your story right now. So it's a deep relationship that you're building with your current followers. Now, I invite you to do videos, videos of you working out, videos of you making your shake, videos of you talking, because that video content builds trust 10 times faster. And that includes on your feed, IGTVs and all of that. Um, so you want to be super relatable. You're, um, you're just like me, or she gets me. You want them to feel that way. Um, and one of the things I, I brought Ari here because it's, you wanna, people sometimes you notice that their um, speaker is off and they're just clicking away and they don't really hear what you're saying or what you, whoever you're following, what they're saying. But if they add, they're adding subtitles like here, then, then you read the subtitle, even though you're clicking, but you stop because like, oh, that, that, that was attractive. That was something interesting. Let me read it. You may not be listening to their audio, but you can read the subtitle. So I invite you to put <laughs> subtitles on your story because you're thinking you're talking and they may not even be listening to you, but they can read your... Um, your uh, whatever you just said. Adri, I wanted to bring you uh, back again to see if you can share like, how do you make things relatable with your audience? Um, so I find that I get the most engagement on my stories and especially when I do polls, because like you said, I think it's more like a, you're having a conversation and you're just assuming so for me, I assume that everybody is listening to what I'm saying. So I'm very like, hey, like I'm talking to like uh, my audience and I'm like super famous, even though maybe one person's listening. But I think that when you have the confidence of like, no, you're speaking to somebody and they're like interested in what you have to say, then it comes out very like natural. So I'm like, oh, you know, like, I'm meditating and I'm doing this and oh my gosh guys it's just like sometimes I'll throw in like little bits and things of what's going on in my life so I'm talking about like my journey with getting a house and I'm not always talking about that but like what I notice that when I do bring up certain things about my personal life that's when I get the most engagement like oh my god what's going on with your house and I haven't even brought it up in like three months so it, it just goes to show that people are not only interested in you just posting product and before and afters, but they want to hear who you are. So like they want to know that your kids are driving you nuts and that you're going crazy with this quarantine trying to be a teacher. They want to know that you have white hair and that it's like driving you nuts so that your eyelashes are falling off. But then 
that's when you kind of bring in the herbal life kind of like naturally you're talking to them about what's going on but you're making your tea you're mixing your shake and you're like oh my gosh guys this is so bomb i'm sorry i have to stop because like my tea girls, like I, I don't even know how I'm awake right now. I slept three hours. So then they're like, what's in that tea? What's going on? Or you'll put a poll, like, how's your energy going? How are you guys not killing your kids so far? And then from there, you, you start creating that conversation and building those friendships and they learn to trust you. And even if in that moment, they're not ready to order two, three years, three months, three weeks, two weeks, like literally today, uh, somebody I graduated with in 2009 is finally ready to order from me. And I've been her friend for I don't know how long and I've herbalized been in her face and I'm pretty sure I've already approached her about it, but something about what I posted today about my vitamins, she's like, dude, I'm ready. I'm ready to get started. So it's just like a confirmation of like, you just have to continue to share organically like as your day goes along and not just post like all which is good because when i post product and polls that's when people remember like okay she does herbalife but i'm very aware of like sharing a part of me so that they feel like they know who i am they trust me if that makes sense are those my chicken nuggets um yeah i think so i'm not gonna say um, are you gonna say something else? Mm -mm, you're muted. I'm the one that shouldn't be muted. <laughs> Let me just check real quick, guys, just to make sure everyone's muted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, I got it. Okay, so let's back to this dialogue. Adri talks something to you, kind of already talked about it, Adri. You know, dialogue, guys, is the most important. This is where the conversations take place. And I'll tell you, the goal with this social media training is for you to develop a thousand true fans. Who the heck cares if someone has a million followers? If you really like out of the million, imagine you having 1500 followers and out of those 1500s, a thousand of them are true fans. Whew, great. But if you have a million followers and you only have 50 like true clients, then what does it matter, right? So you really want to have those tight, tight connections with your followers. And this is where the dialogue comes in. That's where when Adri was like, you know, she talks about her kids like, oh my gosh, with this homeschooling thing, da, 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 like who's pulling their hair? It's probably where all these gray hairs coming out, right? And then Tanya right now, she's like raises her hand because it's, and then she's going to DM Adri and like, girl, yes, all of a sudden, all this gray is coming out. And it's just conversations where sometimes in my mind, I'm like, whoa, this is not going to get me a client. Like, it's not selling me anything instantly, right? But you're developing those, those amazing relationships. Number three, educational, free value. Like, again, going back to the fact that you are an expert. So on your story, how can you continue giving them tips with, like, no string attached? You're just building trust with them. You're not selling anything. You're just like literally just throwing out like, guys, by the way, did you know you can burn 700 calories by doing 45 minutes of Zumba? Did you, you know what I mean? Like implement it. If you do this three times a week, I, gosh, you can, you can lose five pounds, you know, things like that. Because again, you're speaking from your story, from what you know. So really give them tips so they feel like, gosh, she's always sharing without asking anything in return. But here and there, you're like, bam, in your face, right? So when it comes to the bang in your face, Adri talked about like here and there, you want to throw a flyer of, of hey, here are the Herbalife products. Why don't you get started with this program, okay? So I'm going to invite you, which is, I believe, part of your homework is having, setting an alarm. I think I'm not, I'm going to move on because I know I actually remember that I implemented on this presentation. All right, number four, encourage to DM you. All right, for them to click. So through your story, again, this is where the flyer comes in or Adri talked about the poll, right? You were like, oh my gosh, who's like low in energy right now with even though you're home, but there's so many things going on, right? Send me a DM, I'll hook you up. I'll, you know, I have a, I know Nereida right now, she talked about a three-day trial. And so she, you know, the DM started popping in because someone was interested on the three-day trial. Or you can say, go to my bio and click on my link. 
And, or if you have over 10K followers, it's like, whoop, sub, swipe up, right? That's the call to action part. Awesome. Now we're going to go into your IG feed content. This is, keep in mind, I'm going to remind you again and write this down. IG story is where you develop deeper relationships with your followers. This is where the 1,000 true fans are, are being developed, are being cooked and nourished, okay? On your IG feed content, here is with new followers come in. And this is when you do things organically, right? You're gonna you're gonna do it through like videos, because again, remember videos right now it's it's ten times faster for you to grow. Just so you know, right now IGTV is huge. So Instagram is allowing a lot of people to like give them a lot of views and a lot of likes if they're posting IGTV, and only for their for their own good, not for ours. Their intention is for them. For, uh, for Instagram to beat YouTube, they want what YouTube has. And they are wanting to do that through IGTV. That's why they're kind of like, yay, she did an IGTV. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's give her a lot of love. Let's open up the doors for a lot of people to see her video. Because their whole intention is to beat uh, YouTube, okay? They're not doing you a favor. They're just doing it for their own good. But let's use that for our own good, okay? So remember, be the teacher. The guide to this is your niche. What we did last week is what's gonna help you create and develop your feed content. So remember, it's who do you serve, I asked Sheena. You know, and for me, remember I said, I help, and I'm gonna pull it up because this is what your IG should look like for you, in your own words, right? And whoever that is. So my, so my name is Alfina, I'm a side hustle coach helping women build strong bodies and bank accounts. That is my niche. So whatever I post now on my, um, on my feed has to do with just that, that type of women I'm serving, a woman I'm serving, okay? So for you, maybe you're a few, you know, your niche is helping women lose weight. So you're a fat loss coaching, you know, and that maybe that it's just moms. Like I know Adri's, um, her, her uh, avatar is a mom. So, you know, she, you can like give out post, 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 post on uh, that loss tips, um, family recipes. This is where the donuts, right? Mariana shared with me like, dude, I'm making a batch of 12 and my kids are eating six of them. So I'm not going to make any profit, <laughs> but it's cause it's mom. You guys know, right? It's a mom problem. That's what we all deal with. So it's like doing, have, doing that family donut recipe and be like, oh my gosh, who makes a batch of this? And in a three seconds, like it's gone. So she's storytelling and she's sharing her recipe. At home hit, you know, like Alyssa, she can do like, oh my gosh, you know, here is the, the live, the live um, Instagram workout that she did, but she saved it and she puts it on IGTV that's huge and then she kind of breaks it down by the way this was what i did right it's um four rounds of planks and uh 10 second rest blah 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 she breaks it down on the caption and then for you uh sheena it can be again the 15 minute weight loss with zumba and herbalife you know so it's the applying the 80 percent, 20 percent, and 100 percent mindset so really, um, and I share this as just an example, guys, but this is where your niche needs to be on point through your IG feed because this is where people, they hear about you, they're going to go check you out because that's like your resume. That's your website. Who is this chick, right? Who is da -da -da? Let me see. And they'll just scroll through, through your feed. They like you, they'll follow you. So what are you going to be talking about that's going to make you stand out? from all other wellness coaches. Um, I re guys, I really, I'm gonna invite you to follow this chick. This girl here is an actual Herbalife um, distributor. So I took a, um, a one month marketing school um, training with, she's, she's in a marketing uh, expert, social media marketing expert, and I took um, her marketing school. 
and this girl was part of the class and she there's a lot of like a lot of other uh, network marketing uh, companies hardly anyone from herbalife and this girl attracted my attention because she's an herbalife health coach and she is bomb so you know one of the things that i've learned is create info infographics quotes tips that people this is where the new 2020 like growth will come in organic growth will take place through shareable content guys so this one is five tips for eating healthy while stuck at home and so literally it's this here and then and then on the next if you scroll to the right on this and she has videos she has a video at night gtv but this is the cover and also on the caption so if someone likes this, not only are they gonna like, but they may tag a friend. Oh my gosh, these tips are awesome. Nereida, like I'm gonna tag you because I want you to know this. Or I may like repost, reshare on my feed because I loved it so much. That is the number one goal you need to have, not the likes. We get all super excited about the likes, but the true organic growth will take place if someone shares or tag someone in your post. So this is where you wanna be like, tag your friend, da 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 da, right? Um, this here, she has like work from workout from home. So this is an infographic, guys. This is what is called an infographic. And then on, on the second screen, then she actually has a work from home video. So it's pretty, she's amazing, I love her. So anyway, um, that is really it. I wanted to, um, we're almost done here. I wanted to open up the lines to see if you guys have any questions, um, anything that, that's sticking in your head that's coming up. I do, I have a question. Sure. It's Isabel. Hi, Hi guys. Isabel. Um, so I recently just, uh, for the longest time I had my page private, so now it's public. So now I'm trying to figure out a way how to attract like a new audience. Do you have like any tips on how to do that? So um, the things that we are doing on Power Hour, and I know I keep pushing Power Hour, but I really want you guys to connect to Power Hour. Also, I emailed you guys a Power Hour ebook, what to do during a power hour and it is really um for you to engage so it's like um for five minutes even if you take a little longer like you can do 10 minutes follow so for example if you have a friend or someone that you think it's like she's always you know pretty healthy mm -hmm. go into like the last maybe the the last the latest three posts that she had and follow her likes mm. And so just so you know, you know, the way I developed my following, the first probably two, three years of my business, not consistently every day, but probably I'm gonna say like three times a week, three to four times a week, we would spend, and Adri would do the same, she can talk about her way. Um, I, we would spend like literally an hour, half an hour would be, would be follow, like following people, following people. And it's, I used to do like, follow the hashtag Mount Rubido. So it's where are those your target market? Where are they hanging out at? Maybe they had a head out. They hang out at Lululemon's. Maybe they hang out at Target. Adri, you know her target market is moms. Definitely Target, right? So those who use Target or actually the location that they use location Target, she can go in there and follow all kinds of moms. So then there then you have the following so right now what we're doing which is even more it's better you follow those people but you write it down on a notepad of the people you started following and the date and so tomorrow you know the next you're going to do the same thing again the first half hour follow new people the next half hour you're going to comment and like on the people you followed yesterday you're building relationships you're engaging with them now Friday comes and you're gonna have this app that's called follow on follow or something like that followers. So you go in there and they're not following you back to like peace out, right? Oh, cause you don't wanna have too many, like you, want, you don't wanna be following too many people. You kinda wanna have it even or less. So I'm follow on follow on follow, those are not following you. And then you repeat and you keep on doing that. That's how you will develop 
new, new like organic followers also through your posts, right? Consistently posting, consistently doing videos, consistently asking the right questions, like tag your friend, uh, comment below, things like that, that will also help. And I wanna invite Adri uh, to jump on, Adri, to like share, you know, cause I know you've done the same flow for years. What has worked for you? So just like Delfina shared, um, Isabel, I think that first being clear on who you want to attract into your business. So for me, it was moms. And for me, I was like, you know, where do I frequent and where do I see moms and what kind of moms do I want to attract? So I'm not necessarily trying to get like the CEO moms because I have nothing in common with them, right? I want the moms that like are trying to lose weight, that are interested in working out with their kids, maybe don't know what to do and need me to guide them, right? Like, like Delfina says, have that confidence of what you bring to the table. So I think that being clear on what it is you want to attract, then it makes it easier to where are they? So where am I? I'm at Mount Rubido. I'm walking the, the, cre the trails. I'm at Target. I'm at, you know, certain, you know, at certain schools. So like I hashtag you know, mm -hmm. whatever elementary my kid goes to. So that way, like I'm following these people and eventually through my stories, if they follow me back, they're going to see that I'm like, just like them. Like we could be potentially best friends and they don't even know it because we haven't even met. So they have a connection with you because you're purposely targeting them. So I think it's just being clear on who your avatar is and then realizing like, where am I going to find these people and hashtagging that. I found um, one of my supervisors, Christina, when I first started doing the business is Mount Rubido. And she was like, she barely started thinking of going back to the business, but she basically brought me all my business because she brought me all, all her friends and all her friends, friends and all her friends, friends, friends. And those are currently all my first line supervisors. So it's just crazy. Like how, one hashtag can bring you potentially like your diamond that's going to change your, your, your business. But it's knowing that avatar, like I want the moms, I want the moms that maybe don't know what they're doing, but need a little bit of guidance of support. And for you, you just have to know what that is and, and go after it. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is that helpful? Yeah, definitely. Very helpful. And, and, and you're like, okay, well, great. But honestly, if you do it one hour a day, you know, he's, he's going to be seven years later like me. And you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm just saying, so it's every day. So just think about you like, okay, if you do this every single day for the next 30 days, so much can happen. So many new followers, so many new people, but it's like, who is my chick, right? Who is my girl? Yeah. That I want to like hang out with, right? So that needs to be your avatar. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Anyone else? I have a question. Go for it. <laughs> okay. My biggest, biggest problem is that I'm shy to talk in front of the camera. I just, I feel like I, I'm going back to high school and I'm shy to, I'm always being a little bit shy. Like I love to dance. I love to you know, but just that part of talking in front of people, like I'm going back to my high school years, like, Maha, your project's ready for tomorrow. I probably want to call in like sick and I'm, I'm sick, you know, it's just, I feel like I'm about this close to talk in front of cameras, but then I, then I, like, I freeze. That's what I do. Awesome. So that's why I haven't posted anything talking, you know. Uh, uh, Crystal's advice is just do it. Yeah, Nike, just do it. Be smart. Yeah. Um, and, and that's okay. Know that we all felt, well, maybe probably me out of like, you know, <laughs> the only one probably not, and Paola probably not. But every single girl in here has dealt with it or still is dealing with it, okay? But I'm going to invite you to practice whatever comes up instead of posting on becoming a boss all this week is do a video. Girls, I just got my preferred member. Yay! Post the video. Girls, guess what? I'm a 500 volume point senior consultant. Me! Yay! You see what I mean? And we're going to cheer you on. None of us will criticize you because we love you. We're going to be, yay, she did it. Oh my gosh, you joined Power Hour. Guys, I joined Power Hour. Yay, me! Post the video. 
You may feel silly, but you know you are in a very protective zone. You know how we do tea talk? You know at train station when we used to do the women empowerment circle? We, we all felt so, so safe. We still do feel so safe to share and be vulnerable because nobody's there to judge us. We're here to support each other. So know that becoming a boss, chat is like that, your safe zone. So this is where you can throw and this is where you practice the most you can to become so good and next week you're on it. But I would invite you to do at least one video a day. And I want all of you girls to hold her accountable. Adri, I would love for you to chime in. Yes, no, honestly, like I totally get it because it is awkward at first. You're like, what the fuck? do I say and like are people judging me right because I'm totally that high school girl if I really sit and think about it but I just thought like you know what going back like Mahai you lost 27 freaking pounds you love the product you know the marketing plan is great if there's going to be haters of them out there fuck them who cares like you're here to I don't care about that part I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, then then honestly, just pretend you're talking to a room full of your best friends. Like, guys, I had to jump on here because I just, you know, I got a new client and she just texted me that she lost five pounds. Dude, that's, fire me up. Post that. Like, you're, you're FaceTiming your best friend and you cannot not tell your best friend what's going on in your day-to-day. -day. Like, that's kind of the kind of mindset you need to have. Because not only is that excitement going to come out, but people are going to be like, dude, this girl's energy is legit. Like, damn, I want, like, sh I want her around. You know how many times, like, I feel like I'm talking to nobody, but then people are like, dude, you're like so empowering and you're always so happy. Like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I'm just like excited to share, you know? So if you just are excited in a place of like authenticity, you want to share, then don't worry about the rest. Because what you're doing is you're being selfish. You're withholding from changing another Mahai's life by not sharing. And that's our responsibility. Each and every one of us. We all have an avatar and we all know how we felt before Herbalife. So if you don't share, whose life can you not change by not sharing? Like it's our responsibility. Amen. I think too, if I can say something from a high, um, you're such a good encourager and like a good hype person. Like you're always commenting like on posts. And I think you can do that with words too. Like you can just talk to an invisible audience and encourage people because you're really, really good at that. So I think that would help too. Thank just you. And I got messages from you before when you saw that I lost 27 pounds and I appreciate everyone that did that for me and I, you know it's I'm receiving everything from you guys so appreciate it so so that's why becoming a boss chat it's a great platform okay so a, one video a day and girls please hold her accountable one video a day okay awesome all right guys I want to be super respectful of your time so I want to share our homework please write this down I will also send this for you so you can have it for you to free watch and write the notes down. Um, so number one, it's create three days worth of content. This is your feed content. So pick a platform that you want to um, play with so you can develop three days worth. So maybe you select one day, you select a couple of hours. And so you want to also do three, I'm going to invite you in the homework to do three posts a day on your feed. Okay, so schedule that. And maybe on a Sunday, on a day that you don't have, that is not so busy for me, honestly, um, Fridays are not that busy. So I can like schedule two hours of creating content, maybe pictures and just have fun. Like remember when you were a kid and you used to love dress up and put different outfits, you know, one fitness or one, you know, you're going to do a recipe and, you know, things like that. So first write it down like based on um, what we talked about, the four, you know, um, content pieces or through like the seven social media plan, the picture that I posted, based on that, like write down the content with your story, you know, really targeting your niche, your avatar, 
and then go create content. So like I said, Friday, say I decide to block, block it right now from 10 to 12. All I'm going to do is taking pictures or videos of a workout or a recipe, whatever I wrote down here that I'm going to be doing. Okay. So do that. And then number two is post three cells call to action stories a day. So, and set your alarm. So I know like we talked about being relatable, sharing things, you know, doing whatever you're like day to day, going for a walk, but be sure. So maybe you do like an alarm, a, alarm at 9 a.m., another alarm at noon, another alarm at three, and make sure that during those three segments, you're posting a call to action. Maybe this is start your program today you know, or like you do a before and afters and you're like, join my three day challenge, join my 50 day challenge or Thursday morning. You're like business opportunity. Join me tonight to hear more about how I'm doing my business. Cause you're inviting them to the HOM. All right. So doing that every single day, you're doing three call to action posts and it's best for you to set your alarm. If you don't have the flow, or that you know you're not you're used to that so you don't forget because sometimes we get caught up in sharing like you know our shakes or or like our babies our dogs and i went for a walk i went shopping but did you really um posted a call to action like buy my shake you know so it's not about buying my shake every time but make sure that you are selling at least three times a day so setting the alarm for that would be great and then one, this week, one IGTV, and it can be you as the teacher, you as an expert. Going back to the donuts, Mariana, maybe can do like, all right, here I am, you know, like one tip on how to create yummy protein donuts. Just give them one tip, right? Or there you go, Sheena, doing the 15 minute how to lose weight with Zumba and nutrition because you want to do the post recovery at the end. Um, so whatever comes up for you, um, do that one video, IGTV, okay, a week, this week. And then attend a minimum of three power hours to hold yourself accountable on your story, tag me, and then tag your coach that you attended so we can um, really have a, uh, attendance on you. And it's not that, you know, we're forcing it, but we... We just talked about everything that we talked about here. It gets done on power hour. So why not do it with somebody else? Do it in a group. Okay. So this is what's homework. Um, and that is it for week two. I hope you took a lot of notes and got a lot of value. And let's continue growing our Instagram. Let's continue selling. Let's continue growing our business, guys. You are all doing phenomenal. I can't wait for May to be over. A lot of you already reached senior consultant. A lot of you already are closing, so close to closing supervisor. Woo! Yes. Anyway, have sweet dreams. Happy Monday. I love you guys. I love to see your faces. I love to see the mamas being proactive, not using the babies as an excuse and connecting on the call. Shout out to Jacqueline. Shout out to Vanessa. All right, girls, have sweet dreams, and let's continue growing. Let's continue building our side hustle. Open up your speakers. Say goodnight, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Woo. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.